What's up everybody, Parker here. I'm bringing you a video today on how to uh, create a week start date and week end date in DAX. This is a pretty basic um, trick to do in DAX, but it's something that everyone needs to know and it's a little bit difficult to piece together yourself if you're just starting out with Power BI. So uh, basically, uh, this is our end result here. So we have our uh, data on a daily granularity, but we also wanna group it based on the start of the week. So in this case, I care um, for my dates to basically be grouped based on the Monday of that week. So for example, 1-7-2013 was a Monday, so its week start date was 1-7-2013, but 1-9-2013, its week start date was also Monday the 7th, uh, January the 7th, 2013. So I'm gonna show you how to set up the week start date, also the week end date, and why that's important is once you have this column, you can throw it into visuals and you'll see that things are grouped. So you see that you know, on January 7th, we have all of this data as opposed to the daily granularity uh, that I would have normally based on my data. Just a reminder, in case you like blog posts more than YouTube videos, go ahead and check out the BI Elite blog. I've posted uh, the exact same instruction here, but in blog form, the link will be down in the description. Um, so let's go ahead and hop on over to another file. So you can see uh, I have the same data here and you see that my revenue by date is showing on that daily granularity. Um, so I don't have anything to group these dates uh, by a certain week date. Uh, so all you have to do is set up a couple of calculated columns for the week start date and week end date. Um, so we'll hop on over to our data view and we'll right click on our data table, click new column. So this is very easy to do, just a little bit of DAX, um, but it is a little bit confusing until you wrap your head around it. So we'll piece this together in steps. So I'm gonna call it week start date. And uh, firstly, I'm gonna set it equal to the weekday function of our date column. And that takes another parameter, one, two, or three. So one will number your, uh, your days of the week from Sunday through Saturday. So a Sunday will get a one, a Monday will get a two. Uh, the number two will start on Monday. So Monday equals one, Tuesday equals two. And the third one starts with Monday equals zero and Tuesday equals one. Uh, but I don't ever use that one. So personally, I use this number two mostly. So our Mondays will get the number one. So we can see uh, what's returned here. So for our example, let me go ahead and sort this. Because I know that January 7th was a Monday and January 8th, 2013 was a Tuesday. Um, so using that knowledge, I can add on to this formula a little bit and get to where we can have this 1-7-2013 uh, for, uh, for this week of data. So in order to do that, we can just add on here we're going to take our date and subtract the weekday and we'll see where that leaves us. I'm going to, going to change that to a different view as well because we don't need the time. So we see where that leaves us. So basically on uh, January 7th, 2013, you can see it showing January 6th, 2013 and January 8th, 2013, it's showing us January 6th as well. So basically it's subtracting the weekday. Um, so it's basically, we had a one for our Monday, we had a two for our Tuesday, so it's subtracting those from our, um, from our original date, and it leaves you with this kind of group date, but unfortunately it's on the wrong day. It's pointed towards Sunday right now. So all we have to do is add one more day, and we get to the proper Monday. So in case you actually wanted to start on a Tuesday, you would just add two. If you wanted to start on a Sunday, you could just leave it as is. You don't need to add anything because it's now defaulting to Sunday. But in my case, I like Mondays. So uh, you just add one and now we're back at a Monday start date. So that's all you have to do for the week start date. And the week end date is uh, very easy as well. So we'll just copy that, create a new column. So if this logic makes sense, the week end date is gonna be almost the exact same. So we, uh, when we're right here, uh, starting on Sundays, All you have to do is add seven, and there's your week end date. So we see our week starts on 1-7-2013, our week ends on 1-13-2013. Um, so that is the whole logic. Um, this is important because now we can hop on over to our visualizations and instead of using the uh, daily granularity of our date, which is uh, just the day, we can now use week start date instead. And we'll see 
it'll be nice and grouped. So in case the daily level is showing you too much info and it's hard to comprehend, we can use uh, we can use our week start date or week end date instead to kind of group those values. So I hope you liked the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check out the blog and I will see you in the next video.